ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑर्डिनरी संडे लिटर्जी सायकल ए जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन टुडे द चर्च सेलेब्रेट्स द ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ संडे ऑफ द ऑर्डिनरी टाईम द लिटर्जी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन्वाइट्स अस टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन द थीम द विनियर्ड ऑफ द लॉड दोज हू हॅव सीन अ विनियर्ड कॅन इझिली अंडरस्टँड टुडेज पॅरबल what is presented in the gospel was a common sight during the time of jesus therefore the listeners understood the message clearly the vineyard stands for the people of israel god is the owner of the vineyard the cultivators are religious leaders of israel the messengers are the prophets sent by god but were rejected and killed by the leaders the son is jesus God sent him to save people to bless them in spite of their infidelity but the people remained obstinate they wanted to do away with him so God revokes the covenant and makes a new one with other people let us ask during this eucharistic celebration for the grace to be fruitful in the vineyard of the lord introduction to the first reading The vineyard is a well-known symbol of the people of Israel like anyone who plants a vineyard and takes great care of it so does God care for Israel he chosen people should they fail in their vocation and bear no fruits they will be destroyed like any other fruitless vineyard introduction to the second reading the apostle exhorts fidelity to the norms and traditions of the church amidst the worries and cares of our everyday life we have to fix our thoughts and actions on that which is good and true that is the attitude every christian should have and foster introduction to the gospel reading this is the first of three parables which matthew places in the same context because they have the same basic teaching christ is telling the leaders of the jews that the fact that they were god's chosen people and that they were proud of the observance of the law of moses is not a guarantee that they will possess the kingdom of god prayer of the faithful first for the church Lord we pray for the church and all its leaders help them to work hard for the progress of the vineyard thus the hard work may bear fruit to win many more people for Christ let us pray to the lord second for the country lord we pray for our country and all its political leaders they are in the position of law making and nation building help them to work sincerely for the progress of the country and its citizens let us pray to the lord third for the sick and for the suffering lord we pray for the sick the suffering and all those who are helpless in the society if it is your will grant them good health and release them from all their infirmities thus they may enjoy their life in fullness let us pray to the lord fourth for the newly married couples lord we pray for the newly married couples help them to remain faithful to their marital promises grant them grace to remain open to life thus they may participate in the procreative work so that human life may be promoted and proclaimed let us pray to the lord fifth for the community gathered lord we pray for our own local community we are vineyard of our lord jesus christ help us to remain faithful to catholic teachings thus we may lead a faith filled life let us pray to the lord 